Hi and welcome to C5 Basics. Just recently, Concrete 5 has released the new 5.7 edition. Now this new edition, 5.7, is a major change from what we've historically been working with. So how does this affect you? Well, if you already have a Concrete 5 site up, it may not affect you at all. However, if you'd like to now start a new site, it would be good to know how 5.7 works and how it varies from the traditional 5.6 series. Also, should you wish to eventually upgrade your site from a 5.6 series to a 5.7, again remember there are some major changes. There will not be a direct upgrade link, but rather more of a migration. And the safest way to start that is by creating a subdomain where you can test everything before migrating your site. So what's a subdomain? Well, we're right now viewing c5samplesite.com. We're going to use our Arvix cPanel to create a new domain, whatever.c5samplesite.com. And because that subdomain will be addressing the new 5.7 series, well, we're going to give it a name that reflects that. So let's start right away. Rather than working on our current site, I'm going to log directly into my cPanel. Here we are on my Arvix cPanel, and this is where C5 sample site resides. Now again, we're going to create a whole new installation let's say it's a website within a website so that we can test and examine all the new features of the 5.7 series concrete 5 against our typical installation and the way to best do that is as follows expand the tab for domains and under that tab you'll see a spot for subdomains we'll select that and very simply, there's a field to fill in giving us a name .c5 sample site. This will be the name of our subdomain. And I'm simply going to call it 57. We'll create it, and it's been done. As simple as that. However, we're only halfway there. Back at my C panel, I'm now going to select soft coolest apps installer from this installer I can select the category I'd like this installer to handle for me concrete 5 is one of the popular CMS or content management systems so I'll just need to select concrete 5 now please note we have version 5.7 and version 5.6. The comparison between the two is 5.6 is very mature, it's very stable, and it has a lot of add-ons available for it. 5.7 is the new, let's call it bleeding edge version. Although it has a lot of technical features and is very easy to use, to date there is not a lot of support for it so far as add-ons, new themes, customizations, etc. So at this point the choice is yours. If you wish to build a very robust, very effective site, then right now I would select 5.6. However, once again, we already have a 5.6 site, so I'm going to select 5.7. So let's just select Install and go ahead with the process. Here under the Install screen, once again, you have a choice between 5.6 or 5.7. We are sticking with 5.7. The domain that we wish to install it under is our new subdomain 57.c5 sample site 
I'm going to mark the site name as Concrete 5.7 Demo. And I do wish to have the sample data installed. Now, sample data does give you more building blocks, more examples installed right away so that you can follow them and subsequently make your own site building easier. Once we have filled in the form for password and we verified our language, it's simply a matter of clicking install. And I'll go ahead and do that right now. Wow, that was fast. It's installed at my new subdomain. Let's take a look and see if our installation was successful. I now see under my file manager of cPanel, I have a new folder called 5.7. That's where the new site will live. Let's check the URL. There's a link put here by Softcoolis on its upload. And again, it's just as we put it in, 57.c5samplesite.com And here we are with the brand new site layout using the brand new 5.7 version of Concrete 5. Uh, success! Join me in future presentations and we'll review how the brand new 5.7 series differs and how to adjust to that. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm Adrian, your Concrete 5 community and Arvik's web hosting liaison. If you have questions on this presentation or would like to request another one, please contact me at adrian.rick at arvix.com.